And for your closing remarks, please complete the following sentence. Can you hear me now, just to make sure? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> good. I believe in the power of sport too. And we'll start off with Mr. Kuzner. Okay. Uh, I believe in the power of sport to inspire a citizen and to move a nation. And I want to talk about both of those uh, sort of in reciprocal order. And I think uh, uh, moving the nation, I, I, I think we as Canadians have a pretty good sense of ourselves. And I think we understand that government has a role uh, in, in uh, allowing us to develop to our full potential. Uh, whether that's in sport or in life general, I think that there's, there's a role to play there. Um, we see, and, and if we were to have a continuum of uh, government involvement, and, and I, I know that many of you are studying in the States now, not to beat up our, our neighbors to the south, but we, we see um, somewhat of a, a, a right-wing Republican approach to dealing with complex social problems. And I think in a lot of cases, they've only made the matter worse. I, I think government has a role to play uh, early education, where, where we deal with uh, uh, the high chair and, and, and we intervene there. Through sport and leadership development, I, you know, we, we go from the high chair to the lifeguards chair, where uh, a young uh, person is able to, to uh, mature and develop and, and grow mentally and emotionally and, and assume responsibility and, and, and to have that opportunity, I think we should be able to support that. Rather than where the where, where that other end of the spectrum is, and they deal with their problems in the electric chair. So I, I think Canadians embrace that, and I think that uh, the sport community has a, a significant role to play in that, and government has a significant role to play with sport. Let me talk about inspiring the individual now. And because it's it, it, you people, it, it's the, the athletes that continue this year after year, and, and I, I look at sport, I, I, you know, with hockey. And hockey has the professional model, and the money goes into hockey, and it's self-sustaining. But, you know, we know. Sydney had Mario. Mario had Wayne. Wayne had Gordy. We know that... One more minute, please. <laughs> I, we know that Marc Gagnon, you know, he was nine years old when uh, Gaetan Boucher won three medals at the uh, 82 Sarajevo Olympics. He was inspired, you know. I know that uh, uh, the Pelche, the, she, she, you know, uh, uh, Petty Claire, uh, Chantel Petty Claire, she doesn't only inspire athletes, she inspires a nation. She's incredible. But uh, there, I'll give you one last one. In, 19, uh, uh, in the 02 games, when uh, uh, the ladies won the gold medal in Salt Lake City, we know that women's hockey took off in this country, uh, and it's the Haley Wickenheisers and the Cassie Campbells. Uh, they've gone on to inspire the Jesse Wongs. You guys don't know who Jesse Wong is? You will in 2010. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Ms. Georges, can you answer, the, complete the sentence, I believe in the power of sport too. Sure. I believe in the power of sport to bring people together, to create stronger, and healthier communities, to provide mentors for our youth across the nation. I've had some incredible opportunities in the past year to see sport being used for peace and development in developing countries. And going into a situation where you'll see a community that's been fighting for years, and you'll see sport being brought in to help bring these communities together. And an example was Belize and Guatemala where there's a soccer field and you've got a goal post in each country. And it's being used to bring these communities together because they've been fighting and at each other's throats for so long. You see that uh, between the Palestinian and Israeli children where they're having their children play sport together. And at the end of the day, the adults are coming together and they're building stronger relationships and building a community. I believe in the power of sport, not just to create stronger athletes and to make us better people because of the determination that we have and the dedication, the discipline that comes from being an athlete. But I believe it truly does bring the world together. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. McHugh Russell. I believe in the power of sport 
to strengthen communities, encourage healthy families, and inspire individuals. That's why, if you elect Jack Layton as your Prime Minister, our government will invest directly, sustainably, and predictably in amateur sports and fitness, and will also invest in families to help them with the cost of putting their kids in sports. Thank you. Athletes and, <laughs> athletes and oh, families money. have been saying to the government, show us the money, and the NDP will get it done. Thank you. And finally, Ms. Yoga Retnam. Thank you. I believe in the power of sport to transform children with low self-esteem into young adults that have a deep sense of self and an abiding sense of responsibility to the communities in which they live. I believe in the power of sport to revive our local communities and at the high performance level to provide the rest of the world with a beautiful snapshot of who we are as a people. I believe that sport is powerful. And I think this is why we are so committed not only to sustainable funding for sport, but to environmental sustainability within sport. I encourage you all to uh, visit our platform online at greenparty.ca for more information uh, on the policies that we are committed to, uh, as well as a detailed um, budget of uh, budget allocation that we will provide for uh, sport and physical activity in this country. Thank you. Uh, for the opportunity to be here today. Thank you to all of you for coming to join us today. And that completes the all-party sport forum. Uh, thank you very much for your participation and certainly for your contribution to Canadian sport and your support for Canada's athletes. And thank you to everyone who joined us here today, here and also online during the webcast. Um, let's all move to the foyer. Good job, buddy.